Unit 16. Can I take a message? Page 106. Exercise 1. Conversation. Please ask her to call me. Listen and practice. Good morning, Creative Tours. Hello. Can I speak to Julie Wilson, please? I'm sorry, but she's in a meeting right now. Oh, okay. Can I take a message? Yes, thanks. This is her friend, Nathan. Please ask her to call me tonight. Does she have your number? Yes, she does. Okay. I'll give her your message. Thank you so much. Page 106. Exercise 2. Word Power. Prepositional Phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. At home. At work. At school. At the mall. At the library. At the beach. In bed. In class. In Mexico. In the shower. In the hospital. In a meeting. On vacation. On a trip. On his break. On her break. Page 107. Exercise 3. Listening. Sorry I missed your call. Part A. Listen to Nathan return three phone calls. Why did he miss each call? Check the correct answers. 1. Hello? Hi, Hannah. It's Nathan. Oh, hi, Nathan. Thanks for calling me back. Sure. Sorry I missed your call. Were you out shopping? No, I was in the shower. Well, I called you because I'm having a party on Saturday. It starts at about 8 o'clock. Can you come? Sure. 2. Hello? Hey, Andrea. It's Nathan. Oh, hey, Nathan. Sorry I missed your call. That's okay. You were busy studying, right? No, I was at the mall. I didn't hear my phone. That's okay. Listen, can I see your notes from history class yesterday? I was sick, so I missed class. No problem. 3. Hello? Alexis? Yeah? Is this Nathan? Yes, I'm returning your call. Sorry I missed you. I was in class. Really? Are you sure you weren't sleeping? <laughs> no, no, I wasn't sleeping. I know. Hey, can you work on Saturday night? I know you usually work on Sundays, but Sam can't come in on Saturday, and the coffee shop gets so busy then. I'm so sorry, Alexis, but I have plans on Saturday. Maybe Elizabeth can do it? Page 107. Exercise 3. Part B. Listen again. Why did they call Nathan? Correct the sentences. 1. Hello? Hi, Hannah. It's Nathan. Oh, hi, Nathan. Thanks for calling me back. Sure. Sorry I missed your call. Were you out shopping? No, I was in the shower. Well, I called you because I'm having a party on Saturday. It starts at about 8 o'clock. Can you come? Sure. 2. Hello? Hey, Andrea. It's Nathan. Oh, hey, Nathan. Sorry I missed your call. That's okay. You were busy studying, right? No, I was at the mall. 
I didn't hear my phone. That's okay. Listen, can I see your notes from history class yesterday? I was sick, so I missed class. No problem. Three. Hello? Alexis? Yeah? Is this Nathan? Yes, I'm returning your call. Sorry I missed you. I was in class. Really? Are you sure you weren't sleeping? <laughs> no, no, I wasn't sleeping. I know. Hey, can you work on Saturday night? I know you usually work on Sundays, but Sam can't come in on Saturday, and the coffee shop gets so busy then. I'm so sorry, Alexis, but I have plans on Saturday. Maybe Elizabeth can do it? Page 107. Exercise 4. Grammar Focus. Subject and Object Pronouns. Subjects. I got Nathan's message. You got Nathan's message. He got Nathan's message. She got Nathan's message. We got Nathan's message. They got Nathan's message. Objects Nathan left me a message. Nathan left you a message. Nathan left him a message. Nathan left her a message. Nathan left us a message. Nathan left them a message. Page 108. Exercise 5. Snapshot. Popular activities in the U.S. Listen and practice. Go camping. Go to an amusement park. Go to a street fair. Go to a concert. Have a barbecue. See a play or musical. Page 108. Exercise 6. Conversation. Do you want to see a movie? Listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Nathan. I got your message. Hi. Thanks for calling me back. Sorry I called you at work. Oh, that's okay. I was in a meeting, so I turned my cell phone off. What's up? Well, do you want to see a movie with me tonight? Tonight? I'm sorry, but I can't. I have to work late tonight. Oh, that's too bad. How about tomorrow night? Sure, I'd love to. What time do you want to meet? How about around 7 o'clock at the Astoria on Pratt Avenue? Terrific. Text me when you leave your office, okay? Page 109. Exercise 7. Pronunciation. Reduction of want to and have to. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of want to and have to. Do you want to go to dinner with me tonight? I'm sorry, but I can't. I have to study for a test. Page 109. Exercise 8. Grammar Focus. Invitations. Verb plus 2. Do you want to see a play with me tonight? Sure. I'd really like to see a good play. I'd like to see a play, but I have to work late. Would you like to go to an amusement park? Yes, I'd love to go to an amusement park. I'd like to go, but I need to study.
I'd equals I would. Page 110. Exercise 10. Listening. I'll see you then. Part A. These four people need to change their plans. Listen to their phone calls. Who will be late? Who can't come? Check the correct answers. 1. Hello, Dr. Roy's office. Hello. This is Jason Miller. I'm sorry, but I can't come at 11 today. Okay. Well, how about 3? No, sorry. I can't come in today. I have to work. Is 11 tomorrow okay? Let me see. Yes, that's fine. See you tomorrow. 2. Hello, Zachary Kendall's office. Hi, this is Jessica Pascal. I have a meeting with Mr. Kendall at 10 o'clock, but I'm not going to be on time. My bus was late this morning. Okay, what time can you be here? At 10 30. Okay, I'll tell him. Thanks for calling. 3. Hello, Easton Art Museum. Hi, my name's Christian Everly. I bought a ticket to the art festival on Saturday, but I can't come. My parents are visiting from out of town. Can I get my money back? I'm sorry, we can't do that. But I can sell you two more tickets for your parents. No, I don't think so. They don't really like festivals. Four. Hello? Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Danielle. Are you coming to help me with my computer tonight? Well, I'm calling about that. I can't come tonight because I need to study for a test. Okay. I understand. School comes first. You can help me another time. Thanks for being so nice, Grandpa. Page 110. Exercise 10. Part B. Listen again. Which two people can't come? Write their first names and their excuses. 1. Hello, Dr. Roy's office. Hello. This is Jason Miller. I'm sorry, but I can't come at 11 today. Okay. Well, how about 3? No, sorry. I can't come in today. I have to work. Is 11 tomorrow okay? Let me see. Yes, that's fine. See you tomorrow. 2. Hello, Zachary Kendall's office. Hi. This is Jessica Pascal. I have a meeting with Mr. Kendall at 10 o'clock, but I'm not going to be on time. My bus was late this morning. Okay. What time can you be here? At 10 30. Okay. I'll tell him. Thanks for calling. 3. Hello, Easton Art Museum. Hi, my name's Christian Everly. I bought a ticket to the art festival on Saturday, but I can't come. My parents are visiting from out of town. Can I get my money back? I'm sorry, we can't do that. But I can sell you two more tickets for your parents. No, I don't think so. They don't really like festivals. Four. Hello? Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Danielle. Are you coming to help me with my computer tonight? Well, I'm calling about that. I can't come tonight because I need to study for a test. Okay, I understand. School comes first. You can help me another time. Thanks for being so nice, Grandpa. Page 111. Exercise 12. Reading. Austin City Limits. Where to start? 
Some people call Austin the live music capital of the world. Every year, it hosts Austin City Limits. About 195,000 people go to this amazing festival. Most years, there are around 130 different bands that play. That's a lot of cool music to listen to. Where's the music? Check out the AMD stage and the Austin Ventures stage. These stages are where many musicians perform, but there are eight stages in total, so continue exploring. If you're lucky, you might hear Kendrick Lamar or Florence and the Machine. Sometimes musicians even play on a bridge. Autograph Hunters, this way. Do you want a famous person's autograph? Look for the autograph booth. Maybe your favorite band member is there. Don't forget to take a poster or a t-shirt for the band to sign. Snack Attack. When you get hungry or thirsty, walk over to ACL Eats. It's a big food court. Local restaurants serve up delicious local food from the state of Texas. You can get salads, tacos, pizza, hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks there. There's something for everyone. Where to shop? Do you like to shop? Go straight to the art market, right next to the shopping center. There's a lot there, from cell phone cases to handmade African clothes. You can buy hats, photographs, books, paintings, and guess what? You can even buy a guitar. Units 15 to 16, progress check. Page 113, exercise 3, listening. Give me a call. Listen and check the best response. 1. Can I give her a message? 2. Can you ask him to call me? 3. Do you have my number? 4. We had a great barbecue on Sunday. Why didn't you come? 5. There's an interesting new movie at Cinema City. Do you want to go tonight? 6. Hi, this is Amanda. Is Benjamin there, please?